seven and then king c7 and then try to like make your way to d8 i don't know exactly yeah so you couldn't have given a check on e8 as we pointed out with queen c8 blocking it so he's taking it slow the d pawn can't oh. advance and jordan finding his counterplay the h pawn is threatening to march down the board but king c8 Ooh, we have ourselves queen a game e6 Oh, and I can't play D7. We have ourselves oh, a game. That's devilish. Oh my gosh. And just ignore the eval bar right now. Nobody cares about it. Playing on seconds, anything is possible here. Look at the time. Oh my God. He's 20 modest. seconds. He's under 20. And if he takes on G5, the H pawn marches down the board, gives a check. The players are feeling the nerves. How's the king going to hide now? It's going back. Ooh, but the that makes back. it vulnerable. Ooh, we? That doesn't feel right. You can give a check from C8. Or from C4 now, both look good for black. Yeah, the evaluation bar still says winning for white, but now the margin is even uh, lower. Suddenly, all the checks are coming. Black's got quick counterplay. You could certainly imagine the black H pawn promoting in the near future. <laughs> Oof. What do we think? Is he going to hold his nerve, Dimitri Kolas? This block Dancing. forced Jordan to think. Gives okay. a check. He can come back to A6 now. Have to. So many checks. Or in the corner. King d7 was possible. He goes back to c5. That's the most vulnerable part of the board. Anytime. Oh. Ooh, he's triangulating. He's just trying to sneak, <laughs> zigzagging his oh way up gosh. to the top of the board here. Can he hide his king? Big question. Decisive question here. Six seconds for Jordan. I'm still predicting an Armageddon in this one. It's so hard to find a safe spot for the king. Playing on seconds. Queen b5 check. Dimitri's trying. And now don't give a check on e8. Queen d8 idea. Key defensive resource for black there. Gives a check from A6, but we've seen this position Ooh, before. But now Black gets another tempo for his pawn. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and oh, Jordan and just push even. Zero. <gasps> the king is Queen in the way. Queen D6? Yeah, B6. Queen F6? Yeah. I think Queen D6 you have oh, to play please. to prevent King C7. Find it. Stop the white king from moving and no way for white to promote. Oh, this hurts. He's blown it. He's blown Queen it. Queen is a mate in one. Queen <laughs> F8, game over. Unbelievable. <laughs> Same with Queen C7. There's no moves. Yeah, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Desperation. He's covering Black's promotion square. That H pawn is covered now by the White Queen on the diagonal. But how to improve here? As soon as the White King moves, there'll be a bunch of checks. King C8, Queen C5. It's just a draw now. Easy he draw. Was so close. Oof, queen endgames are the hardest. Yeah. Wow. It's just heartbreaking for Dimitri. So close. Just did everything right. He needed to win the game and he made all his chances. But Jordan Van is again, super, super creative way to keep the position defended. And if this ends in a draw, Jordan does win the match. And it looks like we're heading there. Yep, yep. Guaranteed. Nowhere for the White King to hide. The White Queen is stuck defending the Black H pawn, so she cannot block. There we go. I think we're about to see the result. Ooh. Oh, Queen takes e3, but at this point, Jordan's only thinking about one thing, and that's repetition. And we have the result. Jordan, see the relief on his face. Wow. He has clinched it. Wow, and you can see the disappointment on Dimitri Kolas. He was so close to leveling this match with a win, but tricky, tricky Queen and the and Jordan Van Forest was glorious in his defense, creating that H passer. We see Dimitri there. He did have a fantastic day at the start. He's the one who took the lead in the match. But Jordan there with three back-to-back -back wins. And we see the winner of the match. He's got reasons to be pleased with his performance there. Such a great comeback. Incredible. And honestly, Jordan has 